Uh, we're excited to go out there. You know, as a, I have uh, friends and guys on the staff do who've been out there, and they treat you extremely well. And uh, uh, great weather we'll have out there, and, and uh, so uh, uh, be a big challenge. I know that uh, Coach Leach, wherever he's been, has won an awful lot of games and has done the same thing with Washington State. So uh, be a, uh, I think it's a great matchup and, and a great location. With for recruiting, do you think when you can tell kids, you know, Citrus Bowl two years ago, this one this year, I mean, does that kind of help you guys? Well, I think so. I mean, all the kids they want to go to the best bowl they can. Um, so uh, for our season, what we've done, I think it's a uh, it's a very attractive bowl for us. And, and so uh, the more you're successful, obviously, the better off that recruiting will be. And, and uh, like I say, we're going off of. Uh, We've talked to other staff who've been out there and how well they treat you and the kids have a great experience. And anytime you have a great experience at a bowl game, all the kids get excited. Do you look at this game as a reward for the season or for a jump start for next season? I think both. You know, the practices will be more for a jump start for next season. Part of the practices, we usually take uh, 30 minutes each day and work just with the young kids. And then we go on to the bowl prep game. And then, uh, and then but uh, we, we, you know, Next season will get here soon enough, and you know, our seniors really have done a hell of a job this year. We've had a good year, and and uh, we haven't been able to win nine games here since we've been here, and so it's, it's a great challenge, be a good good goal for them, and a good way for them to go out. But uh, it'll take a uh, awful good preparation uh, to to beat uh, Washington State. Coach, have you and Coach Beach crossed paths at all in the coaching careers? Really haven't. You know, now Coach Poor has, so he's the one you'll want to interview. Is that the, they they have. Uh, uh, Coach Poor has been a part of that uh, coaching tree uh, back when uh, he was in, in, in uh, small school in Iowa, and that. So, so Coach Poor has a background with those guys. Well, Tracy, anything you guys were able to do preparing for Detroit last year different than previous years that you might want to carry over? Yeah, like I say, the young guys. You know, not putting everybody in full pads all the time. We used to put everybody in full pads, and even though the older guys wouldn't hit much in that because you wanted to work the younger kids, so. You know, kind of splitting that up into two practices. One's a 45-minute practice for the young kids, and then go ahead and, and do what you need to do then with, with the team that you plan on playing the bowl game and getting them ready. Because it's still, you know, when you go play some of the better teams at other conferences, you want to be as healthy as you can be. Uh, and, and so we're going to be smart with the practices and, and make sure we take our best team out there. Coach, is there any sort of shift in team mentality from playing a you know, bigger crash and bang style of football in the Big Ten than uh, you know, it'll be similar. You know, we played Oregon State earlier this year, and, and uh, they spread the field out on us, and, and uh, you know, it's a little different philosophy out there. And uh, but uh, the good thing is, it, it's a good matchup, and, and so uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens. That's what's neat about bowl games. You get to play people that you don't normally play, and the contrast in styles, and, and you see what happens. Here's what it is history with recruiting California. Obviously, you got Drew, but it's not yeah. the place you go off too often. Yeah, you know, a lot of times again, recruiting is about relationships and and uh, people on your staff who they have relationships with, and so uh, we haven't had a lot of people with uh, California ties, you know, on our staff, and so uh, it, it hasn't been a big recruiting area. Uh, not that we don't check out kids and, and recruit a few like Drew and that when we get references and that, but it's not one of our main spots. TCU, the closest air raid comparison to Washington State. Uh, Probably so, I, I would have to say. Even though, you know, like say Mike has his own system, uh, you know, his last time, I haven't seen him this year, but, you know, they play with really big splits in the offensive line or they have in the past, and, and he does some things and, that uh, are a little bit different and uh, has been extremely successful with them wherever he's been, you know. And, and so uh, uh, his, his offensive philosophy has proven to work everywhere. And, and this year, they've they played really well on defense. I think that's one of the biggest differences. Is, why they're where they're at is because of the improvement they've made on the defensive side of the ball. What did it mean to you to get a vote of confidence from Mark Coyle and, and your program? Well, it means everything. You know, is that uh, whenever you have a new boss uh, the, that, uh, that, that, you know, you don't know how they feel or, you know, some of them, they want to bring in their own person and, and that. And so uh, uh, I, I trust him and, and respect him an awful lot. Like I say, is that uh, he chose to come back here and, and that was important to a lot of us. Um, we'd like to have somebody in place that's not looking for the next job necessarily. And, and uh, so uh, to have somebody who wants to be here and, and, uh, and uh, he gives
gives you your support, and uh, that means a lot to all of us and lets us continue to keep building on what we have. Would you describe the, the mood today versus a year ago today? Yeah, it was a little bit different. You know, we kind of we earned our way in, but through the back door is academics. And, and, uh, so this year, it's, uh, we, we knew that uh, with how uh, strong the Big Ten's been and, and how many New Year's Day games they're going to get, that we were going to get a good game. And, and, and like say our kids, you know, is that uh, we, we've come awfully close in a lot of them, and, and we're we're close to having a great season, and uh, we finished with a very good one, and and, uh, and so uh, they're excited to get an opportunity to play one one more game, and, and especially a good bowl game. Would, would, you just, would you explain that an extension talks before the bowl game, or would that be a contract extension talks before? Oh, the bowl I game? haven't. No, it's all that. You can sit down and be. I mean, I don't have time. And, and uh, right now we did recruiting all last week. I'll be out all this week on the road recruiting, and then you get ready for the bowl game. So until you find signing day, it's hard to find some breathing air in there to worry about that. With, with, uh, Wisconsin's the last game and the way that Mitch did in the second half. How, uh, have you talked to him in terms of like how he'll be able to turn the page and stuff? I think all the good ones do. So we'll see. But I fully expect him. The next play mentality. Uh, that one's done. There's nothing you're going to do about it. You know, you watch the film and learn from it, try to get better, and then uh, you move on. And so he'll work just as hard and prepare harder as he ever has to be ready to go this game and, and uh, expect good things from him. You mentioned earlier about the Big Ten, you know, sports and the New Year's Six. I mean, just what do you think of the, the league as a whole this year? I mean, it's a tough league, and you know, that's why you know, I think we had a good year. You know, two of our three losses was playing the championship game and both those games were on the road and they were close so I think we got a good football team and uh, uh, yeah we could accomplish a little bit more if we finished a couple games better but uh, this is a tough conference this year in our road games and our kids competed every time to show up and and so uh, I think this is a good reward to play a good Washington State team and, and uh, we'll prepare hard and be ready to go. You expressed hope to get Lingen and Weiler back for the bowl is that still? Uh, Weiler will be back but uh, Brandon will. But we will get Weiler back, and uh, so Cody and, and, and uh, Lincoln will be the two that, that we won't get back. Okay, but we will get Jared back. How important do you think it'll be playing? You know, you're the only bowl I think on that night. You're playing on a national audience compared to playing during the day. Do you think that helps a little bit with exposure? Yeah, you, you know, is that uh, anytime you can play in one that there's not a lot of other games going on and you got the national attention. I know it's a bowl game. I always remember because it's, it's had some really wild finishes to it. You know, and. and uh, and the reason you watch a lot of times because it is the only bowl game on on that day. But but it's also been great entertainment. And, and so, uh, um, I, like I say, it should be again, should be a good game and a good matchup. And, and like I say, then I'm also excited because of uh, when you call people and hear about the way they treat the kids and, and the things they have you do. It should be a great experience for us. I know it's kind of quizzing you, but do you remember any of those epic, was it BYU or some of those epic finishes? They yeah, had yeah, yeah. I think Nebraska's had one out there. and. and uh, um, I don't know, I can't remember the other one that I, that, but yeah, I, I remember you almost always watch that game and it's, I think Texas had one that was pretty wild out there at one time and, and most have been high scoring, you know, you go out there, it's a high scoring deal. So uh, uh, hopefully it'll keep on its tradition of being a, a good ball game, a close ball game and, and a team that plays the best there towards the end will win. What do you think it means for this program that's obviously there and growing pretty well to have the chance people say they're winning back to back? Yeah, I think that's important. Uh, they haven't, uh, you know, last year was the first year they, that we'd won one here in a while. And uh, so anytime you accomplish something that has been done in a while, I think it continues to show progress and, and success moving forward. And, and uh, uh, so, uh, and like I said, it'd be great for our seniors. They've done an awful lot and, and uh, it'd be a big reward for them. And, and like get nine wins is something that we haven't done here yet. So uh, uh, I, I think it's, I said before, I, I thought it was our best team. I, I still think it's our best group of players. We had coming back. We, we had to play without Brandon, but uh, you, know, you look at the way we competed every week, and, and except for the Wisconsin game, they all came down to one series and, and had a chance to, to win them all, and that, that's something that we haven't done here. And so uh, uh, we're disappointed. Kids are disappointed. And I know some of the fans are too, you know, that you don't win some of those games. But, uh, uh, you, you know, I can tell you this, it's better off to have a fan base disappointed if you don't win those. And and uh, five years ago, nobody really cared. You know, everybody was excited about going six and six and going to a bowl game. And, and so uh, I'm okay with those expectations. I really am because uh, we got a great history here and tradition, and, and uh, we're doing everything we can to get it back to that level. Good. Thank you. Thank you.